Hello, good day viewers. I want to introduce the topic permutation, but I realize permutations and combinations are somehow related. This is why I want to make the introduction at the same time, but subsequently I will be dealing with permutations before going to combinations. So what are permutations and combinations? What is the difference between the two? I will not be giving you definitions. But for a comprehensive explanation, you'll be able to distinguish between the two. Okay, suppose we have two letters, A and B. The question is, how many ways can we arrange these letters? We can arrange them in two different ways. A, B, O, let me say, B, A. Can you see that we have two different arrangements? but a single combination because AB and BA are all letters AB. So in combination, they are regarded as one, but in permutation, they are considered as two. So we have two permutation here. But one combination. Can you see the difference between the two? Permutation is concerned with the arrangement where order does matter. AB and BA are two different arrangements in permutation. But since AB and BA are all letters AB, they are going to be considered as one combination. In combination, order doesn't matter. No matter how you arrange it, despite they are the same letters, they are going to be considered as one. Suppose we have another one, A, B, C. How many ways can we arrange A, B, C? We can arrange it as A, B, C. We can also arrange it as A, C, B. We can equally arrange it as B, A, C, B, C, a, um, we can arrange it as C, A, B, and finally C, B, A. How many ways? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six different permutations. But all of these are considered as one in combination. Because they're all letters A, B, C just that they are arranged in different ways. So the arrangement of these letters in different forms is what permutation is telling us. But irrespective of the order in which they are arranged is what the combination is talking about. So we have one combination, six permutations. So this is where the term factorial comes to play. Observe something here. Let me start with this one. We have three items, but we have arranged them in six different places or in six different ways. To choose which number comes first, you have three options. The first letter could either be A, B, or C. Three options. But having chosen the first option, you have two letters left. And you have to choose among the two letters to decide which one comes second. After choosing the second one, you have only one letter left, which is one. Can you see that two times, uh, three times two times one is equal to six. And this is just a definition of factorial. This is equal to three factorial. Remember factorial means that number or a letter multiply by the next number before it, multiply by the next number before that one, add to one. If you have five factorial, it means five times four times three times two times one. If it is six, six down to one. Come in here. We have two letters. To choose which letter comes first, you have to choose among the two. So we have two. Having chosen the first letter, you have one left, so that is go which is going to be considered next. 2 times 1 equal to 2. This is why we have two permutations here. And 2 times 1 is the same thing as 2 factorial. All right. Coming back to combination. 
no matter how many times you arrange a b c you will always have a single combination the only time you will have a different combination is when you decide to choose some r combination out of the total maybe you want to choose r out of n where n is the total number like here we have abc n uh, is equal to 3 while r could either be 1 2 or 3 so if r is equal to n you will always have a single combination because here we have three items and we are choosing the whole three r is equal to n we have a single combination but what if you decide to choose two out of three let us do that and see suppose we have a b and c and we want to choose two at a time we can have a b right choosing two out of three we can have a c we can have b e we can have b c we can have c a and lastly c b one two three four five six we have six different permutations in choosing two out of three we're in arranging two out of three but we have only three combinations here because remember order doesn't matter in combination so a b and b a are all the same thing in combination there are two numbers interchanged uh, in different places so in we have six permutations but what three combinations this brings us to an important formula that would always guide us in deciding the number of permutations and combination in a group of items okay let us apply this as an example where n here is equal to 3 and r n equal to 3 and r equal to 2 because we are choosing 2 out of 3 so for permutation we have n permutation r which is equal to n factorial remember we know what n factorial is all about divide by n minus r factorial this is what defines uh, permutation but for combination we have n choose r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial then also multiply by r factorial we are going to substitute from this formula to see whether we are going to get 6 and 3 respectively for permutation this is equal to remember n is 3 so we have 3 factorial divided by n minus r r is 2 uh, 3 minus 2 okay let me even write it 3 minus 2 also factorial this is equal to 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1 so we have 3 times 2 times 1 here divide by 3 minus 2 is 1 so we have 1 factorial remember 1 factorial and 0 factorial are all equal to 1 so we have uh, 2 times 3 which is 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 1 is still equal to 6 this is equal to 6 can you see that we have 6 permutation coming down here we have 3 factorial divide by 3 minus 2 factorial multiply by 2 factorial 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 divide by this is 1 factorial which is the same thing as 1 then we have 2 factorial which is 2 times 1 can you see this will cancel this what we have left is 3 divided by 1 which is equal to 3 can you see that in combination we have three combinations here in choosing two out of three but six different permutations in arranging two out of three items in abc so this is just an introduction to permutations and combinations subsequently we'll be dealing with problems that are related to permutations before going on to combinations thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos
拜拜。